What is up guys, welcome back to another Skater Excel video, a video where we'll be focusing on just one gap today, the UC Davis gap, which we have right here. If you saw my Skater Excel part a little while ago, you'd see that the last trick was this backside flip. Now a backside flip hasn't been landed in real life, but the other 180 flip trick, the frontside flip, has been tried by Ryan DeCenso and Tommy Sandwell. No one has landed that yet though, but we do have a lot of tricks landed down this gap and that's what we'll be recreating in today's video. So I think I'll take the gravity a bit down, a lot of people have uh, recommended that and uh, we'll also be putting the spinning down a lot so that we can spin slow down this gap. The flip speed we're also gonna take that down probably just to the standard and uh, yeah let's see how this plays. Alright, alright feels pretty good. I can barely tray flip on flat now, but all right, let's just jump into the very first trick and we'll just watch it together because I downloaded this uh, montage from Skate Crack or Crack, however you want to pronounce that. And uh, it's not the best quality, but here's the first one. First trick, Jamie Thomas with the ollie starting off the uh, gapping of the UC Davis gap here. That was not enough speed. When Tommy Sandoval, he tried the frontside flip, he said that he was going as fast as he could and sometimes he didn't even clear the gap. I'm still, I'm kind of figuring out what kind of ollie style I want on this trick. Okay, let's check that out. Let's just check out the next trick. Devin Apello with a tuck knee, and I think I should be changing my stance. Oh yeah, that's right, with the, this mod right here, I have to change my stance in misc. Okay, I don't know how to tuck knee in, in switch. We gotta grab with this hand, and then... That was not a tuck knee. I think that was a tuck knee, but can we tuck it more? Okay, we'll try that. So I'll just get pushing. Is that the tuck knee though? I think it is. That's more like a shifty grab. Okay, here we go. You know what? I think I should release the tweak and then release the grab after that. I think that makes it look a little bit better. I did grab all the way to the ground, but that definitely looked better. I mean, let's just check it out. So, on the original clip, we filmed it from here, but we have a tree! Which uh, makes it a little tougher to work with. Hmm, maybe we should just choose an angle kind of like this then. Alright, that turned out pretty good. Let's just check out the next trick. So the next trick is Shyla Ricketts with a backside 180 and I just gotta change my stance again which we have here. Let's just go for it. Should I do like the fakie revert back to regular after doing it? Like that ish? Okay I think that turned out pretty good. I kind of rolled towards that angle and then reverted so... Yeah, now I'm kind of slappy front willy grinding, but uh, let's check that out. So let's just move on to the next trick, which is also a 180. Cory Duffel's last trick in the Osiris video, Feed the Knee. Let's just change our stance because Cory is goofy and just go for it. I like the slow spinning. Makes my job on a big gap like this even easier, but uh, he did land a little bit sketchy. I don't know if we should replicate that. I think like reverting back to your regular stance is easier to recreate than like hand dragging. I don't know, maybe we should just do one I think looks good and then that'll be it. Okay. 
Next up, we're actually gonna do the exact same thing, but it's just gonna be a switch and we're gonna be regular. But here's the clip. Ryan DeCenso from, I think it was the Trans World video? Might be wrong though. But let's just go for it. Ah, that was disgusting. Oh my god. I don't really know how to make Switch Front 180s look good in this game. I mean, that was pretty easy. Ryan Desenzo did it pretty much as good as you can, so we'll take this one. But on to the next trick, and this is probably my favorite trick that's been done now. This gap. Not really the trick, but just the way it's done, the impact it had at its time, and yeah, let's just check it out. That was beautiful. Big ups to Andrew Reynolds. Last part and stay gold. I mean, can I really do an Andrew Reynolds kick for justice? I don't think so, so we'll have to settle with something. Not that though. That was alright, I don't know. Did he kind of have a one foot catch? Let me just check it out again. No, he pretty much caught it with both feet at the same time. So you know what, I'm actually happy with that one. Next up we have Aaron Joss Humoki, who was trying a heel flip to begin with, I believe, at the same time as Thomas Sandoval tried the frontside flip, but he ended up switching it out with a kick flip melon grab. I really think that says something about the length of this gap because he needed to get pulled in to do it. I mean, Reynolds... Okay, he cleared it by a little bit, but I'm actually really impressed with the Cory Duffels because he really cleared it. And Jaws having to get pulled in... Alright, it's a big gap. No! We snapped our board, even though that was bound to happen on a gap like UC Davis. It's just a shame that you can't see it on the replays. See, it just looks like that. The board just kind of breaks. But alright, we have a fresh board. Let's try it again. Might not get any better than that. I wish we could break the tail and get a roll away like that, but uh, yeah, that might be it. Actually, just having replayed it, I think he has kind of a flick on the kickflip that I think I can replicate. Did I do it on that? Try to kind of flick out and then over the nose. Yeah. I think that happened and we got the grab the best I could do it. So uh, yeah, we'll film this one. You know what? I don't really like this one. I think we'll have to do it again, but my session marker needs to go back, of course. You know what? I didn't really like it. I think we're gonna open up the stats menu and then get the flip speed a little bit faster because, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it looked right. Okay, so I think it looks better from a high pop, so I think we'll just go in and get the high pop down. I don't know. how How's this gonna be? Yeah, okay, that's perfect. But I think the grab looks a little bit better from a high pop, if it still does that, now that we change this. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not gonna be any better than that. Let me try to get a little bit shifty, though. This is the one we're filming, no matter what. I wish you could kind of flip into the grab a little bit more and not do the flip trick and then grab, but I mean, I'm still happy with that and we'll just move on to the final trick. Chris Jocelyn's ender in Plan B True. We had the surprise first part of the video and really shocked the world with this one. But can we replicate it the way he did it? I really don't think so. That was a trade double flip. 
tray flip primo slide? I don't know if I should like front foot catch it. Let me just see if he does that. I would actually say he catches the trick with both feet at the same time, but he kind of boned it. Which I really don't know if I can replicate. This is beyond my power. Let me just see how the feet moved in the air. Okay, the heel clicked. What? Can't use that. Why is that happening? There must be some of the mods doing a weird thing. No, I see it again. More stees, leg preset. Let's try that then. See if that does anything. Okay, I don't think the more stees one is the one we're looking for. That might be it. That actually took a while. I think that looked pretty good. But is it up to our standards? Okay, mine was a little bit oversteezed because of this uh, hippie leg style. But I still think it turned out pretty awesome. If Chris Jocelyn, he's gonna skate it again. And now that he's like uh, put El Toro to rest, he's not gonna go back there since they made all the new uh, skate stop things there. He might go back for another trick. And I'm thinking if he's already done the tray flip, then uh, he might go for a big spin. Or just carve around this round thing. <laughs> Okay, that was a little bit too steezy. Wow. And I think that backside big spin is gonna be the last trick of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we get to see some new tricks down UC Davis very soon. But I mean, all the kind of go-to tricks, if you want to say that for a big gap like UC Davis, probably has been done at this point. So, yeah, the next trick is probably gonna be really, really insane. But I wanna see Jocelyn backside big spin it. But if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you haven't subscribed or hit the bell yet, I'd also really appreciate that. But I'll just be seeing you in the very next video. So until then, peace out.